sorry, my hair is like all on you. Hey y'all and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, me and my husband have been sharing our trying to conceive journey and now pregnancy journey of baby number two. We have a two and a half year old son and I am due in December with our second baby who is also happens to be our second December baby. But today I wanted to do a totally different type of video and that is introduce y'all to a new pet that we have. I talked about this briefly in one of my videos a while back that I was planning on getting a reptile. I am just really, really, really excited to share this with y'all. But I did want to wait a while before I introduced our pet just to give it some time to get used to us because with these little critters, they can get very scared. And let's be honest, they're not really in love with people. So I really just wanted to give him some time to adjust to us but I think that we've had him for a little while now and I think that it's time to introduce him and I'm so excited. I had been wanting to get one of these little guys for a while. If you don't know what I'm talking about we did get a crested gecko and crested geckos are little lizards. They come in many different morphs and colors and patterns and all that. They're so beautiful. They're very very gentle lizards. They're very very easy to care for. You literally just give them a powder food. You mix it with water and that's what you give them. You can also give them insects and things like that as well, but not as frequently. You want to feed them about every other day with the powder. And then about once a week, you can give them insects, which we tried crickets. <laughs> They're really cool pets. I've had three in the past a while back and I absolutely love them so very much. They're very, very, very easy to care for and very gentle pets. But like I said, any lizard is not going to love people. So you kind of have to keep that in mind going into it. But basically, I want to kind of do this as a story time and also show y'all my pet. Kind of like a show and tell of our new pet. And he is mine, but um, Jackson loves him as well. But Jackson does not handle him whatsoever. Our two-year-old does not handle the lizard whatsoever but he does like to look at him in his cage. If you are thinking about getting a reptile I highly recommend these little guys for you because they are just so easy and they're so beautiful. They come in many different varieties like I said. You can either you can find one that's really cheap or you can find them in the thousands just depending on what morph they are and how rare it is. It all started the other day. I wanted to be very selective on where I got my crested gecko. I did not want to get one from a pet store just because all the crested geckos that are in the pet store do come from very, almost like a puppy meal for reptiles. They're very mass produced. They're not really selective on what they breed. So sorry if this offends anybody. I just wanted to support a good reputable breeder who really focuses on quality and health. That's what we did. We decided to go to a reptile show and this is how it went. Good morning, y'all. We're about to go out. I'm so excited. You ready to go get a lizard? A lizard? <laughs> yeah. I thought we was getting a snake. Uh, no way. I want to get a snake. I want to get a snake. No, we're not going to get a snake. Old snake. <laughs> big old snake. Mama's here. <laughs> Jackson, hey! Whoa! Wait a minute. How you like when you hair? Okay. <laughs> Here, Jackson. <laughs> Look, Jackson. You ready to go, Jackson? <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, we going! Woo! Are you ready to go eat, Jackson? Let's get some. You ready to eat? <laughs> yeah. Not happy. We're about to go and get something to eat really fast before we go get the lizard. I am so stuffed. We ate some cheeseburgers. Here in the rice fries. <laughs> and now we're about to go get the lizard. Jackson, you ready to go get it? Come on. Huh? Come on here. <laughs> Shane, 
Shane. Shane. Here are lizards. Here the jacks. <laughs> Here the jacks. Uh oh. It didn't make it. <laughs> it didn't even make it home. I was actually very surprised when my mom decided to get a crusty gecko as well, and she is totally in love with this little guy. Hers, I believe, is a flame Dalmatian morph. You want to turn him towards me? Yeah. Look, he, want, he wants to come towards me. <laughs> he want him to turn away from me. His mama's new lizard. Mm -hmm. He's, what is he called? A Flame Harlequin? Yeah. Crested no. Gecko? No, he's not Harlequin. He's the uh, flame, Dalmatian. Flame Dalmatian? Yeah, Flame Dalmatian. Crested Gecko. <laughs> and my guy is a Harlequin with pinstripes. He also, he kind of to me looks like a tricolor, but they say for them to be a tricolor, they do have to have three distinct colors of equal amounts. So he might just be a tad bit lacky in that. So we do qu classify him as a Harlequin, but he is absolutely stunning. And I'm gonna go get him very soon and show y'all what he looks like. So here he, oh, I'm sorry, my hair's like all on you. Here he is. See what he looks like. I'm not sure if y'all can see him. Here he is. Ah! <laughs> Here he is. Make sure you focus on your bud. And he's so beautiful. He's very pretty. And they feel very, very, very soft and like velvet. What you doing, buddy? Isn't he so pretty? I'm gonna try to zoom into him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he's gonna get my hair. Oh, okay, okay. It's not getting my hair. <laughs> You're so handsome. You're so handsome. You wanna climb me? Okay. <laughs> and the thing with crested geckos is they can drop their tails if they get scared and a lot of times they do drop their tails and they won't grow back. They're also a climbing lizard so they do need cages that are taller than long. They also do a thing called fire up which means that their colors get darker and more vibrant and that typically is when they're stressed. <laughs> He's so pretty though. Okay I think I'm gonna put them up for now. Okay, say bye bye. I did go ahead and put him back in his cage because I didn't want to scare him too much, especially with my lights. The funny thing is when I planned on getting a crested gecko, I really wanted to get a baby and preferably a female because the ones I had before, the female I had was way more friendly. The one that I got as a baby, I raised up and she was such a really laid back lizard. So that's kind of why I wanted that. But when I seen him, I absolutely fell in love with him. He's just such a beautiful lizard. Honestly, he's probably one of the prettiest crested geckos that I've ever seen in my price range for sale. He just is so stunning. He fires up such vibrant, beautiful colors. He almost turns black a little bit. He's just so beautiful. And 
I am actually interested in getting another Crested Gecko very soon. I'm not sure what we're going to do. I know my mom is absolutely in love with her Crested Gecko and really wants to get another one. So we might do that. I'm not sure what we're going to do, but I'll definitely keep y'all updated. But I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. If any of y'all have any reptiles, I would love, love, love to hear about them in the comments below. So definitely please share about any reptiles y'all have as pets. And also, if you have a Crested Gecko, I would love to know more about your Crested Gecko because I'm absolutely in love with them. If you haven't yet, we would love for you to subscribe and join our family and continue following our journey of our family. And also follow us on Instagram at MorganFamily underscore YT. And I guess I'm gonna, gonna go now. We'll see y'all next time. Bye.